These are the things I wish I knew before going to a coding bootcamp. These would have helped me set my expectations a lot more realistically throughout the process. So the first thing is actually knowing what it takes to make it through one of these programs. Once you're in through the application process and you go into the coding bootcamp, you have to expect that you will be coding six out of seven days a week and you'll make a lot of sacrifices, especially for free time and activities that you generally do outside of a job or work. You're probably gonna have to give those up at least for a few months. Now in the coding bootcamp, we did practice problems every single day and I failed most of them and I felt completely lost. But the thing is I actually wasn't lost because you're learning how to problem solve even when you fail these problems. And when you're also building projects and you fail and you don't know how to do things and things break, you're actually learning how to go through and debug those things. It's set up to make you fail. You're not going to get everything perfect and that's a completely unrealistic expectation. There's a huge bias against coding bootcamps from people in the industry or people who got CS degrees that is actually not really true. A lot of people think it's just a total walk in the park. And honestly, when you go through one of these things, you have to earn it. You have to put in the time, you have to grind, you have to struggle, and this is for months. And then after that, you have to go through the job search. And this is one thing that you just need to block out all the negativity on the internet and all of the bias and just keep going. So number two, this one is that your health probably will suffer, especially if you don't manage it. Now you're going to be sitting for a really, really long time. And the way I remedied this is every 25 minutes, I would get up, get a drink of water, go to the bathroom, take a little walk outside, you know, take five minutes off every 25 minutes. That's using the Pomodoro method. And I now use that in my day job. It's a lot more effective, a lot more realistic. And honestly, sitting all the time is pretty unhealthy. So you have to do things to shake it up. There's a lot of stress as well, which can really affect both your sleep and your eating habits. And if you don't manage these, you're probably going to gain some weight. <laughs> For me, I know that I'm a stress eater. I like to eat a lot when I'm stressed and I really had to manage that. It was hard. I definitely gained weight for the coding bootcamp, but at a minimum, I told myself I'm at least exercising three days a week and I stuck to that. And honestly, that did make all the difference. Now, if you were used to cooking all the time, that just isn't realistic with the coding bootcamp. You're probably going to run out and grab fast food or go get dinner. I would try to make it as healthy as possible, but I definitely slipped up, especially with stress, and I did eat a lot of junk, so that is one thing to really take into account. The next is that the mental game is completely brutal. There was this one time at 2 a.m., I was trying to figure out a project, it was due the next day, and I just couldn't get it, <laughs> and I pretty much had a mental breakdown on my couch at 2 a.m. in the middle of a coding boot camp and wanted to give up. So the reality is you're going to want to give up multiple times throughout the coding bootcamp and just don't do it. You need to keep pushing. You're going to fail. It's going to be really hard. Now, another thing is that you need to believe in yourself. It sounds much easier said than done. But one way that I approached this was I said affirmations every single day. I told myself I am a software developer. I'm confident. And these things saying them over and over again. Yeah, it sounds dumb, but I do think it actually helped, especially when things were getting really, really challenging. Now, another thing is that you're probably going to be pretty anxious and stressed throughout the whole time at the coding bootcamp and probably after. It's just what happens when you're making a career transition. It's hard. It's not straightforward. It's confusing. There's not really a you know, defined path on how to do this. So you just have to figure out how to push through and try to be as mentally clear as possible. Now, the biggest asset to the coding bootcamp is definitely the community. If you can struggle together with people and not feel like you're totally alone, that is the best way to go through it. Struggling with other people helps build bonds and you'll come out of the coding bootcamp probably feeling a lot closer to each other. This helped me create lifelong friends and I still keep in touch and we hang out regularly in San Francisco. So that's been a really great thing about the coding bootcamp. That struggle does bring people together. Now, the next thing is that you're always going to feel behind throughout the whole coding bootcamp. If you're drinking out of a fire hose, there's just so much information and it's impossible to keep up with it. And the biggest kicker is that everyone else is actually just as far behind as you are, but they just don't say it. This is kind of like that weird social phenomenon on Instagram where everyone is living their best life and everything is always perfect superficially, but under the hood, Things aren't perfect. Things are going wrong all the time. And this is the same thing in the coding bootcamp. Just know that even on the outside, if it looks like everyone is succeeding, they're probably failing just as much as you are. And that also brings me to the point that if you see other people not asking questions, do not emulate that. You need to be asking questions, ask intelligent questions after you have, you know, 
Googled and gone on Stack Overflow. And if you can't find the answer, figure out a way to ask one of the TAs an intelligent question. This is so important. And this is something that I didn't do for the first few weeks. And I think it really did come back and it hurt me. You're literally paying for this coding bootcamp. If you don't use the TAs to ask for questions and get help, you're pretty much wasting your time and your money. Next, the hardest part of the coding bootcamp is not the bootcamp itself. It's the job search afterward. You need to expect to apply to 150 to 300 jobs. That is a realistic goal to set. You'll probably only get two to three on-site interviews, and that's honestly enough to get a job if you really nail the on-site interviews. Now, during the job search, it is much lonelier than the coding bootcamp. This makes the job search a lot harder in my opinion, because you don't really have that community anymore to work with, to talk to. Now, one thing I did in the job search was I got a few bootcamp grads, we came together and we worked together to get jobs. We held each other accountable and that made a huge difference in my job search. Now, the last thing is it's not all technical. The coding bootcamp is a very unique situation where people have taken time off and time out of their lives to all go in and learn something new. This is really cool. You see a lot of people who are very passionate and who are very into what they're doing. Throughout this process, you really build your work ethic to be successful in this industry. And that's another huge takeaway. Another thing is that you make connections and you bond through the struggle. This is great because even after the coding bootcamp, through the job search, and also through your career, you have a base of people to go back and keep in touch with. This can be really helpful for future jobs as well as just friendships in the real world. Now, the last thing is that you gain confidence in yourself. This is probably one of the best things that I took away personally from the coding bootcamp. I think going through one of these career transitions, it was really hard. It took a huge blow to my confidence. I didn't even know if I could actually achieve this and make a complete career change. But the fact that I did and looking back now, I gained so much self-confidence and looking forward, new challenges that come my way, I can at least get past the confidence part and really focus on trying to achieve something new. I know that if I've done something this challenging in the past, I can at least go and do it again. So if you have any questions about coding boot camps, shoot me a DM on Instagram, at Matt Upham. I'm totally willing to hop on a phone call or chat about any questions that you have that can help make your decision to either go to a coding boot camp or go a different route if you're looking to get into the tech industry. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and also check out my other video on the top five reasons to go to a coding boot camp. Also, if you have any other video ideas, shoot a comment down below. I'm totally open to making whatever kind of videos that you want to know about.